we're at the Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida to check out the new exhibit, Dare to Dream, Disney and Dali. Throughout the 20th century, these two visionaries changed the world through the power of their imagination. Both Walt Disney and Salvador Dali gave us the opportunity to explore worlds of fantasy through art and film. Their passion and their legacies went on to make the surreal a reality. From the World's Fair in New York City to Disneyland in California to the Dali Theater Museum in Catalonia, Spain to the Walt Disney World theme park in Orlando. And now the Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida in cooperation with the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco gives us yet another opportunity to explore the imaginations of these two extraordinary men. It was back in 1936 when their paths would cross for the first time. The Museum of Modern Art in New York City put together an exhibit called Fantastic Art, Dada, and Surrealism. The work of Dali was showcased alongside animation cells from Disney's short film, Three Little Wolves. It was then the two men first took note of one another. World War II brought about some important changes for both men. Walt Disney would take a number of artists and animators on a goodwill tour of South America. The sights, sounds, and culture would go on to inspire a number of Disney films to come. From his Brazilian friend Joe Carioca to the tempo of that top hit tune, Brazil. Around the same time, Dali and his wife Gala moved to the United States in order to escape the war that was tearing through Europe. While here, Dali would take an interest in Hollywood, even going as far as designing a dream sequence for Alfred Hitchcock's Spellbound. Sometime after the release of his masterpiece Fantasia, Disney hoped to create a similar packaged film with the help of Dali. With that idea, Destino was born. Dali began working at Disney Studios. He started writing outlines and treatments alongside Disney legend John Hench. Unfortunately, the film would not be completed until well past any of their lifetimes. However, many of the original development sketches and paintings were preserved and actually make an appearance in the exhibit. And while Dali would only work at Walt Disney Studios for a few months, the impact he made while working there would go on to influence a number of films to come. Now we'd like to hear from you. What is your favorite Disney fantasy land? Is it the Mad World of Wonderland? Or maybe Enchanted Kingdom of Sleeping Beauty? Perhaps you prefer Monstropolis? Let us know by leaving a message in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more details, please click the subscribe button. That way you won't miss a single episode.